Okay then guys, how are you all doing? Today I'm back with my new light. This is the LED wash from Sheds Lighting and this is the 19 by 15 watt version as you can see. I'm gonna go into a bit more detail today. There's an introduction video over on my TikTok, so if you haven't seen that, check that out now. But yeah, we're gonna have a closer look into this fixture today and what it can actually do. Okay, so before we start, I wanna show you what comes in the box. Obviously you get the fixture itself, you get the supplied power cable, you get the two hanging brackets, then you get a supplied DMX lead, now that's the first time I've got this out, it looks good quality, genuinely it's a pretty good quality DMX lead, it's, that's not going to break very easily, that is strong connections in that. You get the user manual, which I find with a lot of lights the user manual is quite vague, but this one pretty detailed so I'll show you that but then this is the user manual here's the content you've got maintenance operating attention rigging the fixture DMX technical you've got all those kind of things there I'm not going to read them all out to you and bore you so obviously here you've got maintenance it's very detailed very detailed so that's great, and as you can see, there's all your menu control. Then you've got your modes here, DMX mode, fast auto, slow auto, sound modes. Okay, so let's close that. Jump to the exciting part, the light itself. Okay then, so the light's all plugged in, ready to go. I'm gonna turn it on, on the back. We're going to let it boot up. Just warms up, spins round, judders a little bit. As you can see, we've got a menu down here on the front. On comes the light. So this is a very bright light, as you can see. So I'm going to run you now through the menu on the screen. The lights and sound active at the moment, so when you make noise, it's gonna to move to the to the sound. Okay, so I'm gonna show you through the menu okay, then. So here's the menu, guys. Hopefully you can hear me over the fan, it's not too noisy. Just wanna show you, so on your menu, if you hit okay, you've got all these different options, mic sensitivity, mine's set at one, you can have it 250. Go up, go down, okay, enter. No signal mode, so you can choose your mode. This is the back button, this one, and this is the forward button, so basically the same as OK. Anyway, you reset the fixture, set it to default or factory settings. We don't want to do them, we just want to go back. OK, so then if we go, rather than going across, because that will take you back into that menu, you want to go down. So. 24 channel mode you can see we're going into now click that you can choose 16 channels on your DMX or 24 I want it on 24 so I've got as much control as I can possibly have Then we move over to the mode. Okay, so we're now in the mode So you can see we're in 5 DMX 5 tell at the minute 12 at the moment I've not got DMX plugged into this unit So at the moment it's doing nothing You see we can go down to fast auto mode and that'll put it straight into auto mode. Fast paced, basically a party mode. If we go back in again, we can click OK on mode and we can go to slow auto. We zoom back out, you can see it moves in around in a slow auto mode. And there you can see that zoom function working. And then if we go back in again, Okay, down to sound, and zoom out, it's now in sound mode, and it should respond to noise I'm making, tapping on the work surface here. Okay, so we're going to go back, going to go here, you can choose what language you want it in, we want it in English, so we're going to keep it in English. 
can then go, sorry, jumped a bit far. Display, you can flip it upside down if your light's hanging the other way, it might be easier to use it this way. And then address, you can choose your DMX address all the way up to 512. You go forever. And then of course, back to your menu again, where you can choose what you wanna do. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna show you what this thing can do with a bit of smoke and I'll let you decide what you think of this product, but it is really well built. I mean, just look at this thing. You can see in the camera how well built it is. Look, it is solid. All the way around, even up here. Solid. Let's just watch this light for a little bit and see if we can catch the zoom function. There you go, can you see it going in and out? There you go, so that's the zoom, that's how that works. That can like make the angle it's covering bigger or smaller based on how zoomed in it is. So just while I'm waiting for my smoke machine to warm up, I'm gonna show you the back of the unit. So you've got your DMX in, your DMX out, your power con, which by the way, you have to turn to pull out. You can see how solid this unit is there. Then you've got your power con out, so you can go out to another unit, which will be great when using these on truss or other sorts of T-bars, podiums, things like that. You've got your fuse down here and you've got your on and off switch like that. Okay, so I wanna show you while we're here, this is the DMX lead supplied. If I can do it one-handed, That is how quality those cables are. You probably didn't hear it clicking over the noise of the moving head, but they are good quality, as you can see. So just while I wait for you to show up, I'm gonna turn, wait for the smoke machine to heat up. I'm gonna flip this unit over and show you what it's like on the bottom. Okay then, so this is the bottom of the unit. This is what it looks like down here. The supply brackets go on like that. And then the other one will go on that side, allowing you to clamp, if you can see that hole there. That one there. We'll let you clamp on O-clamp, or, well, two on there for safety. There's also other types of clamps you can use to clamp it in different ways. It's got good feet on the bottom, as you can see as well. Nice rubber feet for they are very solid, they're not gonna come off. I'd be very surprised if those feet came off at all. And then you've got that extra safety loophole in the middle. So that's the bottom of the unit, and that's the back of the unit. Then there's your lights. So all round is a very, very well-built unit, as you can see. Very well-built unit. And then even on the side, you can see the handles very well built. Okay then, so as promised, here's the light working. Please take into consideration that there's a window there, no blind on it. So it is daylight in this room right now. But here is the light working. As promised, a little bit of smoke in the room and you can see what good effect it's giving off. It looks way better in person with smoke. But as you can see, this light is bright. It's nearly 300 watts of power. And I can see why. Because if you look at these things for too long, they are blinding bright on full power, like this then. That is bright. So, we're gonna put it in the fast mode now. So you go to menu again. You go down, you go to mode. And let's go to fast auto. There we go. So it's now in the fast auto mode. 
and you can see the effect that this fixture is having. And remember how much, how many advantages you get from DMX in your lights. So once this light is used with DMX, it's gonna be incredible. You'll be able to strobe it, move it to the drops when you want it. It'll be great. Any big venues, even in small venues you could use these, I'd just advise dimming them down slightly. But in massive venues, these are gonna look great. Clubs, they'll look amazing. I'm gonna be using these for bigger events. Unfortunately, they're not waterproof. You can get waterproof versions, but I'll be using these when I do big events like fireworks for schools and stuff when I'm under a marquee, so they're not gonna get wet. But the power of these, they will light up the playground, the field, wherever the people are stood. And uh, they'll just be incredible lights, to be honest. I'm really glad I've got my hands on some. With or without smoke, they look amazing. That's the great thing about these effects, is that whether you're in a room with smoke or without smoke, it's gonna brighten the place up and it's gonna look amazing. Now, I'm just in the corner of a room at the minute. Later on in the video, I'm gonna take you outside with this light once it gets dark and I'm gonna show you how bright it really is. Hopefully not annoy too many neighbors. But I'm gonna show you how bright this light is outside in the dark. And I think you'll be amazed because I'm amazed at how bright it is in the light. It's the middle of the day now and this thing is still amazingly bright. I've used it inside with normal household lights on and this thing just completely blacks them out. It just makes it look like there's no other lights on in the room. And this is just one. So I can imagine two of them would just be incredible. But yeah, if you feel like you're interested in these lights, drop me a message and I can send you a link on where to buy them. But it is the Shed's moving head. It's the LED wash. I think on the side it's called the LED zoom. LED zoom mini wash light. I was gonna try and show you, but these things spin too fast. But yeah, the LED moving head, the LED zoom moving head mini wash light. Now it's called mini because the company make even bigger versions. And it's not massive. I think this light's about the same size as the Equinox Fusion Spot 150s. So it's on par with them size wise, but the output is just amazing. And the fact, I thought they'd be really, really noisy as well when I saw them online because of how bright they are. But the fans are surprisingly quiet. I mean, I can hear the motor spinning more than I can hear the fan. And it's a big unit. So, yeah, it's great, it's bright. It does everything you could want. All types of events for DJs, festivals, nightclubs, big outdoor events, corporate events, weddings, whatever you need it for. This is one of those lights that could do it all easily and more. I think two of these lights easily is more than enough. If you wanted four, that would be even better, but I don't think you'd even need four, especially not as a mobile DJ. These paired with, I feel like if you're a mobile DJ these day and age and you can't, this day and age and you can't use smoke in every venue, something like this is perfect because the effect works no matter what, whether you're using smoke or not. Same with other moving heads, they look better with smoke, but without smoke, they still look great. So I think two of these paired with two Gobo moving heads and you'd have an amazing light show. I think even if you've got up lights in a room, these, this will outshine them. So make sure you DMX them all and have them work in the same colors. But yeah, honestly, it's a great fixture. And for the price, at the moment, they're selling for around 180 pound each. That's a bargain. You can also get them in a flight case, two in a flight case, not 100% sure on the price. But if you message me, I'll be able to help you out. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what these are like later in the dark. Stay tuned. Okay then, as promised guys, giving it a spin outside in the dark, no smoke. Just on its own. And you can see how incredibly bright this light is. It's lighting up everywhere there you go you see how big it is can't fit any more in the camera but there you go that's how bright this light is it's incredible 
hope that gives you some ideas on how bright it really is even outside well then guys thanks for watching this review hope you've all enjoyed it it's been great to make and great to get hands on with these lights keep keep well and i'll see you all soon